Welcome back to Condemned Criminal Origins. We are receiving and transmitting that on our pursuit of the matchmaker, he had set a fire extinguisher upside our head, and we lost him in the subway. Okay, just because this train needs to stop at the next platform doesn't doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't mean that we uh, need to actually, you know, are, um, doesn't mean that we're going to catch him at the next platform. Well, this game has been easing us into a more supernatural approach to uh, crime scene investigation. So Van Horn, our uh, mysterious old man who knew our father, is telling us most explicitly that we have powers beyond even our own comprehension. We're only just beginning to understand why we have pressure knowledge of things. For example, why we have a magical text box at the top of the screen that tells us things conveniently that ordinary men simply would not see. Mm, another six bird chapter, eh? Oh, they're all, they're all six bird chapters. I, I think they're all six bird chapters. Could have swore that chapter one or two was seven. Yeah, You gotta collect them all. Now, don't go too far backwards there, Sonny, because there'll be electricity back there. Because how else do you stop somebody from going down a corridor where very clearly there was just a subway car? We should be able to climb, uh, climb up there and, t and test those doors, though. Ah, uh, Resident Evil 6. A game I wish to fart on for the rest of my gaming career. The stupid subway section in Leon S. Kennedy's campaign. Oh, I wanted to rip the pipe off the wall. This isn't actual conduit pipe, though. This is plumbing pipes. <sighs> Why did you shoot the ground with your taser? I'm practicing. Okay. You, you, see, you see it now? Don't go forward and don't go back. Because you'll get zapped over there, and getting zapped really hurts. You should know, you've been tasing enemies since chapter one. And it's a lot of fun. Just not as fun when it happens to you. So, are we gonna pick up the homeless shelter? <sighs> I can't see- Why are we- Why are we ignoring the homeless shelter, Mr. Whoa, Cloud? whoa, whoa. Oops. I mean, we found the guy who was using it. Stupid. Mm. All right, a steam pipe. Goddamn spider splicers are coming down now. <sighs> you people make me angry. You've killed me numerous times. Mm, all right, a full fucking shotgun. I guess Which means what we'll get to kill two <laughs> people with it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, cuz they don't go down. Well, they tell you shoot them in the head just <sighs> <laughs> See, if I had more ammo to fritter away on the chance that I would miss, then I would aim for the head. But I don't have a lot of ammo, so I'm gonna right. go for some nice, big, wide targets where I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a hit. <laughs> now, to be perfectly honest, I really think that I really think that you should have been able to uh, refresh, refresh ammo, if not for shotgun, then then certainly handguns. Uh, with uh, with additional handgun drops, but admittedly, that's effectively the same thing as what they're doing here. <sighs> I mean, you can take bullets out of a gun and put them in your pocket. Just that's just the thing is that we don't really have pockets in this game. We can't. Yeah, hold they're they're uh, holding uh, they're holding specifically way too many um, uh, detective items, like our gastrometer. <laughs> We we can't we can't really hold on to any consumables in this game. The health packs are on the wall. The ammo is in the guns. The the wep the weapons are picked up from the environment and then dropped accordingly. No, uh, what about small keys to open doors? Um, what the crowbar? Oh, no no no, because that's a weapon. We we don't really use keys in this game. I guess that's part of how depraved we've come from becoming, turning from a rational. FBI officer into something resembling criminality. Yeah, I, I, I get, I get the you trope didn't now. You did even hit him. It's cl close enough. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, there's another one. 
There's, I can't, I can't use the taser. Hang on. Assholes. Well, these guys go down in one shot because they, they do. They have, they have so little health that even the taser is sufficient enough to take them out. Just not when they attack me en masse like that. Mm, so, would you consider these guys? Well, you've already made the joke that they're spider splicers, but the thing is. Having just re replayed the entirety of Unreal 1 again, I consider these guys to be more in line with the uh, pupa from Unreal 1. Yeah. These guys are just fucking freaky. Like, you know, now now we've we've gone we've gone from David Fincher 7 to like they live. <laughs> mm, I've not actually seen they live though. Ooh, you finally found a middle piece. Yay. That was well hidden. It was in a crevice. You had to go to the crevice in order to find it. Otherwise, it would remain hidden from you, player. No, you can't climb over the barrel. There are no A-prompts over here. But why not? They didn't script it. Can't jump unless it says we can jump. We can't climb through unless it says climb through, and so on. Alright. We took out an army of dudes uh, all dressed exactly the same. Now, uh, well, it looks as though Mr. Cloud has become lost. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, we found it, we found it. It only took us a second. You know, it takes it takes some investigative agencies as long as 30 to 40 years to solve a crime. It may take past Cloud a couple minutes to determine where the fucking pathway is in this video game. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, behind us is a chain link door. In order to open this door, we need a shovel. In order to get the shovel, we may have to kill someone. Now, are we going to use this, uh, a garden shovel or a snow shovel? It's a snow shovel. Ooh. Oh, th there it is. Okay. What? No, that's a garden shovel over there. It's a, it's a... What? You've never used a garden shovel to clear snow? I have used a garden shovel to clear snow. It's significantly less efficient. Cause you know when you're when you're trapped in your driveway in one and a half feet of snow, beggars can't be choosers. This is true. No. Don't steal the conduit. The, 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 no. You can't now open you no anything. Now you have lights. You know that's one missed opportunity I realized from this game is that you can't use you can't use the conduit weapon in order to complete circuits to open doors. No, it's it's just a doohickey. Yeah, it's just a melee weapon. That's all it is. It's an emergency melee weapon, and in order, to, and if you t attempt to use it specifically, don't steal the other one. I just want to see if it's better than the one that I have right now, and it's not. There are a but, lot of conduits yeah. around here. <laughs> yeah, the whole, because there's a lot of diff there's a lot of different uh, electrical uh, electrical lighting uh, fixtures down here. Thing is, every time you rip out a conduit, you disable a corresponding light fixture. So it makes so it makes getting lost and disoriented even more uh, even more uh, uh, frequent. You know, you you do you do raise as I meander around after very clearly having located the shovel. I have to agree with you that that would have been a great way of raising the tension while also. For, forcing the player to use the means at his disposal while sacrificing precious light sources. Because maybe the only weapons you can use are the conduits, but every time you take a conduit off the wall, it deactivates one of the lights, and you can't see. Well, we've seen that happen in the environment in the environmental storytelling quite a bit, actually. Past Cloud, would you kindly turn around <laughs> and look at the shovel? Rationalization? Opportunity? M motivation. This is the behavior triangle. Okay, now turn left. Okay, very good. You found it. Uh-oh. Uh it's doing the Resident Evil thing. We got closer to opening the pathways, and now it's gonna start spawning enemies at us. Remember you did, or, or maybe maybe the thing is that I don't know that I need the shovel. I don't think I actually. Yeah, I don't think I don't think past you has actually discovered the prompt that says, "Hey, you can use the shovel on this on this on this thing." That, which might explain why I'm so lost right now because I simply did not hover my cursor over the OGs. Oh, hey, that See? was him destroyed a light bulb. That was my idea. Put that back, you. 
It doesn't matter. He can't actually fuse those wires. He doesn't have an electrician's kit on hand. I'm gonna get you. I can chase you around in circles all day long, buddy. I'm gonna get you. Come on now. Yeah, 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 I did. I, I, I almost... Uh, apparently I confused the block button with taser. Uh, not tase him! Come on, use the taser. You love using... Or maybe I'm trying to actually, like, block for a change. No, yep, yep, good, good. Back up after getting the hit. Because he staggers long enough for you to get outside of his attack range as long as he's using a short-reaching weapon. Okay, nice, nice. You're learning! Good. But you still haven't learned how to do executions. You silly person. And in the next part, after I finally discover the door that's been blocking my forward progress, we're gonna get a shovel and pry it open. Behold.